artists drinking wine. Good morning! We're trying to do those TikToks, but they're like. Good morning and happy November 15. Today, I channel my inner Picasso. <laughs> I forgot what his first name is. Okay, Google. What's Picasso's first name? No, 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 no. Pablo Picasso! Oh my god, she just does not stop. I am my inner Vincent Van Gogh. And she's like lemons and sunflowers by Van Gogh. She got the yellow. Today, I'm becoming an artiste and painting because, as you can see, I have no furniture. All that I have, box. So, I got interior designer to design me. Look at this. Oh, very nice. One thing that she wanted in the room is paintings. So, I look at how much things cost. $2,000 per painting. I say, you know what, Miss Very Nice Interior Designer? I'm going to do it myself. Brianna is here. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, who is that? I know for a fact you put some weird shit on that cake. I know for a fact. Why would you do that? I know nice. for a fact that you put some weird shit on that cake. Open it. Or you put like, hot girl Toronto forever or like something weird. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it would be something like that. When I said it, she's like, what do you want written on the cake? I'm like, nice house. She's like, nice house what? I'm like, can you do bitch? And she's like, yeah. You What's should, that? Okay. I also went to LCBO today. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, this is so pretty. I know, I had a different one and then I saw the bottle and I was like, yeah. I didn't even get that can one. I, wait, do you want to drink it or can yeah. I put it in Oh no, thing? I want to drink it if okay. you want. Or do you want to? I just want to see it? what it would look like. Let's just see what it would look like. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Ooh, I need more nice bottles like that. While Brianna snaps a boy, I was thinking, so envision this. Painting, artists, drinking, wine, eating, pasta. So I think I'm gonna make some pasta. Mwah, mwah. Je prends les... Oh. Je prends... No. Je prends... Where the f*** are my... Je prends les... Je prends les... Et il faut jeter. Allez, je pas. Je suis dans les something. Yepé. Mwah. Hello, this is me voicing, voicing over because apparently my microphone just decided to not work. This is what I get for thinking that I can use professional things. It just, it didn't work. We literally have no audio for this clip. And honestly, I really like this clip, but basically made the pasta. Mwah, mwah. Chef's kiss. Good to me. Hello, fresh who? I don't know her. Um, I'm also saying, hey, my main channel is kind of dead. So make sure to check out my main channel video where I give you guys an empty house door. And then at this moment, Brianna and I thought it was a good idea to do a duet of Remy the Ratatouille. So we were like, imagine this. Remy the Ratatouille, the rat of all our dreams. That's what we were basically saying. And she was like, Remy the Ratatouille. Like it was a harmony, you know what I mean saying? I don't really remember what I was saying at this point. I think we were watching a YouTube video. I'm just kind of trying to show off my arch and my back and my butt. But now I'm going to give you a haul of everything that I got at Michael's. First of all, I'm going to show you, we got a blank uh, plastic, what, the, what is that called? We got a paint palette. We got a knife set because that's what people use in the tutorials that we are watching. Not so much paintbrushes, which I also bought paintbrushes, which we didn't even end up using. And then a 24 set of acrylic paint and then a six piece set of acrylic paint with mostly like the white and the pink because that's what we're mostly going to be using in the yellow. Those were our main color palette. And that's a magazine that Costco gave me that I just threw in the bag. And oh, oh. I put beside the canvas, I put my outstanding achievements of visual arts. Adeline Moore in 2012. Dude, that's like eight years ago, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I just put it there because my dad, he like picked it out of a box or something like that. He's like, oh, how did I just get in one of my boxes? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it right beside my camera. Remind me of who I motherfucking am. I'm gonna remind myself of who I am. I am outstanding achievements of visual arts. That way I hype myself up with that little, that little award <laughs> when I was in grade eight. I was in art school. I gotta remind myself who I am, because sometimes I don't have the confidence, but this will show me that I need the confidence. I am literally Demi Lovato in this. What's wrong with being confident? Uh huh. Woo 
but the little whistle tones, I don't know what she does. But yeah, that's basically everything that I got at Michael's for this craft set. And I think everything in total was around like a hundred. Well, okay. The canvases were buy one get one free so they were around $50 each and then all the paint and stuff like that was around 50 or more dollars so overall the whole project was a little bit under $200 which I'm not mad about considering my interior designer literally wanted me to buy a $2,000 painting multiple like three of them $6,000 worth of paintings also watching Madison Beer on the side <laughs> we're like watching her interview with I think it's like Zach saying show I don't know this is us opening it up I'm like deep -a -deep -a -deep, how do I open it up Brianna she's like do it this way I'm like oh okay let's do it dude it's literally almost as big as me the painting is huge and I'm like oh how do I like protect the ground and she's like oh let's put like this plastic and I'm like oh cool let's put like this box so we set up the plastic we set up the box and then bam 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 we get working I'm all like oh I'm working bitch and blue's like oh no oh no oh no 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 because she has less room to run around Like, the more you put on, the better it is. Okay. Dude, I dropped my phone on the paint and it didn't even get on my phone. Buy my phone case! Wildflower! Like, jump on the auto the next one. Wildflower. Pro though. Also, mine's on FaceTime. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> to my family as well, M-A-I-P-J-M-A. Oh okay, my god. Oh my god. Okay, here I'm saying basically we're done the painting. We're gonna buy more white paint tomorrow and finish it tomorrow. But for now, we have a little bit of a cake break. Wash your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Stupidy, <laughs> slickity, slackity, slice of the cake. Ooh, Nick out of it. Yeah, I'm eating Nick tonight. Yeah. Here I say I'm going down on Nick tonight. I thought it was so funny in the moment, but I am just being stupid. I was too drunk to finish this vlog. Here's the next day where the audio gets better. <laughs> Guys, you need to play this song. It's so fire. I was just like dancing to it. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, it's fire. Anyways, I was too drunk last night to transfer the footage to Rosie, so we're combining the vlogs. I literally just came back. I dropped Brianna home. Look at what we got in the mail. Not one, but two packages. Also, I'm my outfit right now. Like, fire. Like, if I'm gonna say so myself, I'm so comfy. The whole day I've been so comfy. I was looking at the thing. Hello, it's me. Look at it. Tim Hortons has. Why is it stuck? They're Christmas cups. I switched it up today. I got a French vanilla instead of an ice cap. Mm. Oh, but I got a package from Princess Polly and I'm wearing something of it right now And I thought I would show you a little clip in the vlog First of all this top I wore this top with this skirt in one of my Instagrams You guys have to check it out. I don't know. I don't have like a plain basic and it's also high neck So I'm like, oh, I'm the queen. I'm so humble so mature <laughs> and then my skirt I feel like zebra print has been super trendy recently So that's why I wanted to grab it and I always whenever it's fall time I always my style gets so boring. All I do is wear jeans and leggings every single day day so you know even though it's getting colder i can wear a skirt and maybe wear like tights underneath or something like that or guys look at these boots these boots are made for walking that's just what they'll do they're so cool my favorite fashion blogger is lissy roddy on instagram and she always has these boots they're not over the knee they're just under the knee and i under the knee <laughs> i feel like that's been super trendy recently and it's also a thick heel so you know she's not so hard to walk in and she has a square toe which also has been super trendy catch me out side and these next i feel like this mint green color has been super trendy recently i see everybody wearing it you can button her up and be like oh i'm so modest so cute or you could do an unbutton and you could be like oh maybe have a lace bra coming through oh call the michael top can i just say every michael that i've had in my life sucks the name something new about the name michael is cursed it's cursed okay but not the shirt it's so cute this shirt says you to all the michaels oh i don't know i just wanted to get a lot of skirts because i feel like i don't know but the way that i was thinking i was like i can find a lot of big like sweatpants and flannel shirts and, and hoodies and stuff at the thrift store but skirts are so hard to find at the thrift store so i got another one she got a cute chloe mini skirt i don't know she was yellow so i thought that i had to get it i wore this in 
my, I think it was my fridge tour. That's why it has a little stain on the boob. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's like a little bustier top or like a little corset top. It all comes undone. She makes your boobies look so nice. You wear it with a pair of jeans and it looks so nice. Also, I feel like every girl just needs a solid pair of jeans. So I saw this on their website. I have a lot of light wash. This is more medium wash. And they're like mom jeans. And they're like, they have a little bit of a rip action happening, but not too much where it's like you're gonna get roasted at the family dinner, you know what I'm saying? It's just like just enough rips. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> also, something trendy I've noticed is like cow print. I was like, I don't want like a full cow print outfit. I wanna just dip my toe in the waters of the cow print trend. So I thought that this belt was really cute. Like you could literally, I could wear this top with the jeans and the belt. Just makes it so much more unique and up to trend. And then, girl, I don't know, I don't know. I was feeling good about this hat. It's a bucket hat. <laughs> It's this like fuzzy blue bucket hat. I don't know why I thought it would be super cute with like a jean jacket or something like that. I don't know. I, I never really wear bucket hats. And you guys know I used to hate bucket hats with a passion, but you know, she's kind of warming up to me. I kind of like her a little bit. Sorry. It took me a second, but I kind of I'm warming up to her. Again, with the mint green. I really like this dress because it's very cinchy. It cinches you like at the waist and it makes you look really like whew, whew hourglass and it's nice because it's like it looks like it's tight but it's pretty loose fitting so you don't feel like you have to suck it in the whole time and you could wear this with like all those instagram models they always wear like those leather blazer jackets or like a denim jacket or i don't know something over top i think it could look cute with the shoes i think that could be super cute and then the last thing i literally got this because of sierra i saw sierra wear a dress <laughs> i think it was maybe the same if not pretty similar it's just this white flowy dress do you guys remember when everyone would have these dresses in like 2016. I don't know why it just makes me really happy. And I could just lounge around the house because I literally never leave my house and just wear this dress and makes the boobies look good. She's flowy, she's fun. I don't know why this dress makes me so happy. I think it's just more of a nostalgia reason, but it makes me happy, okay? But yeah, that's everything that I got at Princess Polly. And I also wanted to thank Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to get anything that I showed, everything will be linked down below and you can use my code Adeline for 20% off. We hooked it up for you. Boom, boom. Princess Polly Adeline, 20% off. And they have free standard shipping to Canadians, which is four to eight days, over $70 Canadian or $50 US. And listen, this is like the best part for Canadians. Duties and taxes, like duties, import duties and fees. You can pay at checkout. That way you don't have any surprises at the door. You know when you order something and there's like $30 import duties and fees and you're like, what the f You can pay it in advance on the website. That way there's no surprises, which I really appreciate Princess Polly because nobody thinks about us Canadians. Nobody cares about us but you do i know you do princess polly but yeah <laughs> all right hope you enjoyed the haul now back to the video what? i ordered some uber eats still waiting for her to arrive i got sushi from earl's the dynamite roll is so good but i think i'm gonna eat my sushi maybe have a, a glass of wine or two and finish the painting because i want to finish it for this vlog so you guys can see the final result My dad told me the final step, signing it. I didn't get Brianna to sign it though. Next time she's here, I'll get her to sign it. I got my Sharpie. Ooh. Honestly, blue kind of helped too, so I'm gonna add a little paw. Blue helped, and then Brianna will sign when she comes back. Look at all of these film photos. Also, I got Brianna to pick it up for me because I was embarrassed because literally have nudes up in here. <laughs> I didn't really think it through because I visit the film people like every week, and they're gonna be like, uh, girl. This is when my cousin came to visit. This is me saying F my old house. It's out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> hey, I kind of like this background. Wait, baby, move here. Ooh. I feel like a TikToker. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed the painting. Dude, honestly, I was kind of stressed about the painting, but abstract art is so fun. You can f up as many times as you want. If I didn't like it, I could have just painted over it, which I kind of did. Even though it was good when Brianna and I did it, I put white over top of it and I think it made it look really cool. Tip of the day is do abstract.
abstract art because it really just made me happy and honestly my dad looks at it and he's like I don't I don't know the difference between these really expensive art pieces and what you just did but it looks really nice and I was like oh, thank you dad but my interior designer is coming over in a couple weeks so the whole like main living area it will probably be done by like mid-December or something like that so <laughs> fingers crossed I tried to tie in there's like pink chairs and stuff that we want to do I tried to tie in the pinks and the colors into the painting and I'm so excited for how it's gonna turn out how everything's gonna look and I think it's also just more it makes the house more of a home when you have memories you're like oh me and my girlfriend had a fun drunk wine night and we just painted that painting like I don't know I think it's kind of cute I also do want to do another painting not abstract art because I am an artist 2012 Adeline Moore visual artist I want to try and do a bag painting with butterflies and stuff like that but that is for another video I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed today's vlog today's merch shout out of the day goes to pure adel and she's wearing her hot mess crew which guys my yellow fuzzy set is launching on black friday it's launching so soon i'll insert photos here oh my god cute and madison and her girl supporting girls butterfly set dude i love our butterfly set honestly i was planning with fanjoy what we want to do for the next year you guys are not ready it's not hoodies and shit. like this is this it's gonna be actually cool oh i really like this tip of the day it goes to lo-fi vibes on instagram the tip of the day says there's no right time there's just time and what you choose to do with it i always talk to my friends about this they're like oh you know like brianna for example she's like she's gonna hate me because she watches the lecture i'm like i don't know why are you calling me out she's like oh, i'm just gonna post more and then i'll get an editor i'm like no get an editor now why do you have to post more i feel like there's so many like instances like my brother or, like my friends they're like oh i just need to do this and then i'll you know focus on this and i'm like no if you really want to do something do it now why are you waiting if you're like oh i want to like start my own clothing line but only until I hit 100 followers. Why? Why? Just do it now. Nobody cares. So I think that's why I like that tip of the day, honestly. I don't know. I was, before I did this big painting, I was like, should I buy a little painting and practice on that before I do the big one? I was like, no, I just want to do the big painting. I'm just going to do it now. Like, why am I? I'm just going to do it. I want to do it. So just do it. I don't know if that was even a good tip of the day, but if that motivates you, I hope that does. Anything that you wanted to do this past year, I know it's been so unmotivating this past year. I've especially felt really unmotivated this past year and I know that it doesn't seem like that because I've been like posting and you know life seems so great but you guys know behind the scenes like it happens but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place behind the bye